So here's the Warriors coming out behind their captain, Stephen Price, with five members of the World Cup team in the side today. Rapati, Vatave, Mannering, Fien and Rapira. The record here shows that they've won more than they've lost against the Sea Eagles. There's Stephen Price, who became the 11th most cap player in first grade, I suppose is the right way to put it. 11th player to reach 300 first grade games in the history of rugby league here in Australia, Stephen Price. Big day for the Warriors. There's Vatave, voted international winger of the year. And of course, the return off the bench today for the first time in something like three and a half years at the NRL for Stacey Jones. There he is, the great little halfback who's joined the Warriors on a one-year contract. And the last time he played NRL was here at Brookvale when the Warriors was last won a match here at Brookvale Oval. Not a bad crowd in. A day best suited to the beach, I suppose, and that would have kept the crowd trimmed somewhat. Young Dale Davy from Cootamundra, the 14-year-old, is a patient of Sydney Children's Hospital as part of the One Community campaign has led the Premiers out. An adoring crowd, shocked, I suppose, by the result last weekend when they were hammered in atrocious conditions by the Dogs. Matt Orford, Dally M Player of the Year last year. He'll turn 21 before the start of the rep season and still searching for that blue jumper. Sunni Ula debuted last weekend against the Bulldogs, an American Samoan. And Brett Kite, of course, who finished the season brilliantly last year in the grand final with the Churchill medal. So the New Zealand Warriors winning over Parramatta in round one. The Sea Eagles of Manly losing. Shane Hayne is the referee who will start with the whistle. Steve Lyons is his assist referee. Manly winning their seventh premiership in October last year and they kick off and they're running towards the northern end of the ground for Nathan Fien to take the ball. And bringing it back is Russell Packer, That's one. who made the Toyota Cup oh, oh. Team of the Year last year. And he, of course, is in the run on side. With the absence of Michael Luck, it's gone quickly along the line to the big winger, Vatuve. 112 kilos of him. And this is Rapati. So out on the 40 metre line then, shot of Vatave for you, 190 centimetres and 112 kilos. This is Packer, just out of the Toyota Cup as I said, he's a big lad and here's their captain, Stephen Price, one of six Queenslanders in the New Zealand Warriors squad. And that kick from Moon has been taken by Robertson. When Manly gave the Warriors a hell of a hiding here last year, Robertson got three, Brett Stewart got three. And that's good defence there. Surely it was dominant, and you heard that from the referee. With Rapira, the chief tackler, Watmo goes on, Matai is with it. And Steve Matai has tackled just outside the 20. Make sure you try and then right. Yeah, Brent Tate, the man penalised for coming in late after the tackle had been completed by Denon Kemp. Ray, you mentioned Russell Tackler a couple of times in that first set of six. Started the game last week against Parramatta. He was outstanding. A real player of the future as Kite takes it 45 from his own line. It's not long between October and March and the Toyota Cup result. I'll get it for you in a moment, but the Warriors really took a hiding at the hands of Manly. Last year they had a brilliant Toyota Cup side. So nil all here at the moment with Matai tackled, 35 metres away. There it is, Eagles 52, Warriors 4. And that's Josh Perry. He didn't play last weekend. This is Hall standing off loading. Suniula got a pass away. Watmo did likewise. Kaitas with the ball. And they're not really making their tackles count. In that exhibition from the New Zealand Warriors, Ballon goes off to Orford, who goes across then to Bailey. And Bailey 
will play the ball in the middle of the ground. Playing it back for Matt Ballin. Perry just running a little decoy off the ball as Orford puts it high and flying up above the pack. It's Denon Kemp, the uh, former Bronco, that try scoring freak. Basically shunted McKinnon out of the road and said, It's mine, leave it, get away. And here's Vata Vey tackled and has gone high the shot. Ray, I don't think any of those words were said from Denon Kemp. There was <laughs> no communication. They were very fortunate to get away with it. As the penalty goes their way, Joel Moon, who was also very, very good in the opening 20 minutes last weekend, finds good ground way down just outside the 30. So the tap taken by Henderson. Erin on the Central Coast, born in Torquay in England. Now from Rapira, quick hands, Fiend, caught Watmo coming up quickly. Mannering a fend on Bailey, and then he's flung to the ground out there on the far side of the ground by Glenn Stewart. It's now come back for Rapira, and he's held. He gets it out the back door, and now it's Joel Moon cutting and getting a ball away from... Oh, he was over the line and lost it. Desperate tackle by Matt Ballin on, on Wade McKinnon. Can you believe that? I'm not sure that the pass wasn't forward, but McKinnon had it, and he cops one around the chops. But obviously forced him to lose the ball. Here's the flick out the side. Here's McKinnon, and whack over the top. There it is. Gets him on the chin, and he loses the ball. And a penalty in the first tackle from the restart against the Warriors. We saw there the dangerous Sam Rapira with his offloads. I remember one at Wynn Stadium last year. He served up for Wade McKinnon to score. He is never, never on the ground until you've wrapped him up completely. Manly now. Get another penalty. That's that's three. They've got him really rapid, rapid time. And Manly will kick for touch. Our sideline today is Andrew Voss. G'day, mate. Yeah, Ray, uh, good assistance there for Manly getting those penalties back to back. They are running into a, quite a gusty breeze at times here in this first half. Look for the Warriors to exploit that. Michael Robinson in defence is standing way back from the Manly defensive line. The Warriors do like a short kick, and Wade McKinnon will be the player trailing through. Played by Hall. Ballon, a neat run from dummy half, trying to give Kite a gap on the inside finally. Played for Ballon. Right side play, Bailey short, Stewart there, run round from Bailey, ball loose, and Vatave beats Barney to the ball for the crumbs. That was wonderful hustle. Now we've got a knock on here, they're saying against the Warriors. Someone has got a hand on the ball, according to the referee. Let's have a look. Jamie Lyon will come around the back, and the, the pass looked as though it was a bad one. But what they're saying there is that Rapati might have got his hand to it. It was good hustle by Vatu Vey to get his, the ball for his team, but they're saying the Warriors played at the ball, and this will be another manly set of six courtesy of a scrum feed, and you would think a scrum win. Well, nothing's going right for the Warriors. They've come down here on the back of two penalties given by them, and now a knock on. We certainly didn't see initially. Here's Jamie Lyon trying to get rid of them. Dragged down by Lilliman as they go inside back towards where the ball was played for Watmo. And Watmo is held by, I can see four at least in there as Watmo prepares to play the ball. He got a couple in that big win I was talking about earlier. Off at a show, off at a show. Now he goes out to Bailey, away it goes, and Barney goes for the line. Going to have an inspection of it. Well, the crowd in that corner, which is mainly Manly supporters, they appear confident, but he's made late ground. But of eight, Michael Barney is celebrating. He oh, believes he's got the football down without going in touch. Nice ball movement. Plenty of second man plays involved. Barney gets close. I think we'll probably slow this one down. Looking to see if his body hits the corner post before the ball is planted. That's a try. It's a great effort. No problem. 
No problem. It's very hard to slow yourself down and Heavy, you to make back? a delicate play like that, knowing full well, too, that he's got a big black like Vatu Ve okay, yeah, coming from the point. inside, looking to doing some damage. But Manly will open the scoring at Brookvale here this afternoon. Michael Barney, a try the first of the day. And I'd have to say that Manly would have been disappointed had they had come back from that visit down there without something. Aren't our wingers great finishers when it comes to staying in touch? Already this, this year we've seen Joel Reddy score on Friday night. Last night I think it was John Williams up for the Cowboys who did an amazing effort. His body was over the sideline but airborne. And now Michael Barney, who's, I think he's got less than 30 first grade games under his belt, comes up with a, a similar effort to just get the football down before going over. Just harking back to that Reddy try, I was listening to Robert Finch saying that it should have been an eight-point try. Uh, Joel Reddy was inconvenienced by the lashing boot uh, that was uh, aimed in his direction from Nathan Merritt, it was, I think, yes. It was, yeah. We did mention that, but probably gave him a little bit more benefit of that than he should have received because that was a directly put out. I, I said a running caution, but as you point out, it should have been an eight-point try with that new rule or enforcement of an old rule. Orford from the touchline in front of the crowd over on the hill in very hot conditions at Brookvale and he's just wide. We'll take a break. Sunday football exclusive on nine. Can you turn Chids up too? I couldn't hear you before then, Chids either. So welcome to our networks taking us this afternoon in other parts of the globe. So the restart for the Warriors taken by Denon Kemp. Ivan Cleary would be disappointed that they eventually coughed up points, but I, I guess he would also realise that something really had to give against a class outfit like Manly when you get a couple of piggyback penalties and then a knock-on seen by the officials that nobody else saw. So it gave the Premiers a great opportunity to put four points on the board. Here's Perry with the ball now. Here's Stephen Matai, who had no luck last year in the World Cup. He played for New Zealand, but of course he missed the final with yet another injury. He's a, he's a tough critter. Here's Bailey going on. That's Glenn Stewart with the ball. And Glenn will play the ball. Uh, it, there was a warrior lying in behind to play the ball. He could have easily been penalised. Price's pass has gone astray. They swoop in, but I think the Warriors have got it. McKinnon, great effort to recover. Is Kemp using his speed to go away? Bagged a heap of tries last year for the Broncos. I think it was something like 19 tries. He got four in one game against Parramatta, I recall, at Suncorp. Played by Vatuve. And now Manly. This has become very eloquent on the pronunciation of Vatuve. So we better all stay with him. His price. Well, I think we send, should send a cheerio to Laurie Daly, who did some groundwork with that. As Nathan Fiend goes high. And getting underneath it is Suniola. And he left the ground. He probably didn't have to, but he wasn't to know that. He was watching the ball. He wasn't watching the oncomers. What's the flop? Suniola. He plays the ball then on his 20, and Barney, the try scorer, comes away. Runs into Lilliman. Got a fair few state of origin caps, the former cowboy. He'll be good for the Warriors, who, with TAB Sports Bet up $8 to win this competition, they're the third favourite. The Warriors, manly favourites at $5. As Glenn Hall plays the ball. He and Jason King celebrated a birthday this week. They both turned 28 yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, both 28 the same day. Here's another run for Barney down the right side, the Torres Islander. Pass in for Jamie Lyon. He staggers, he reels, he makes it. Jamie Lyon has scored after Michael Barney went down the right side. And Lyon, his last few metres, was like a drunken sailor. Well, it's just as well it wasn't too much further because Jamie, he was falling quickly. Good speed here from Michael Barney after some lovely hands on the inside. Glenn Stewart, Jamie Lyon on the outside of... His marker, Michael Barney, positioned line beautifully. Batterbane tried to mark two men, but got pushed off 
by the try scorer. They go back to back the Eagles. That is the fourth time in this game in only 12 minutes that Manly have attacked down the right hand side of the field. You've had a look at the uh, foot on the line there, Peter, have you? That's... I think it's okay. I think it's okay. But it's the fourth time they've directed their attack that way, looking to outnumber the opposition. Did a great job here, Jamie Lyon, to keep his footing. Look at him. Stumble, 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 stumble. Just gets there. But some nice attacking no, raids down that right-hand side top. of the field have Big Manu. Uh, you well, know, he's really guessing yeah, no. in defence. He doesn't know whether to come up or stay back. And Barney showed some really good speed to get around him on the outside. He is just like a second 5'8", isn't he, Glenn Stewart? Wonderful on the fringe of the ruck there. He's, he can run the football strongly, but he's got... Got really good hands. They have played him at 5'8". Well, during last season they did on occasion. Played to the left for Australia. He plays generally to the right for the Eagles. He's offered with a similar shot. This one, he's measured it better. Conversion for Matt Orford. Try by Jamie Lyon. Andrew Sunlight. Ah, oh, super kick into the breeze. What about Michael Barney? It's a bit of a, a re-emergence for him. If you think back to 2007, he had three games late in the year and almost played in the 07 Grand Final. On the strength of those three performances, he got a three-year contract. And then with the emergence of the Wolfman last year, David Williams, he sort of got left behind. Only eight games, injuries as well. Today, only his 13th career game has certainly started well. Robertson taking the kick off and... Brent Kite brings it back to the 20 metre line. The Wolfman is one of those missing from the grand final squad. 12 of them out there today. And there is David Williams. Brett Stewart, of course, out. Stephen Bell gone. Steve Menzies gone. Mark Bryant gone. And he's talking about Marcus not being direct. That's that signal. And it's a penalty again to Manley. Yeah, 5 1 the count at the moment. 5 1 to the home side, which is very, very handy when you're running into the breeze. So Josh Perry it is now, Dominant, taking it to the Warriors 40 metre line. There's Brett, Brett Stewart watching on from the coaching box. And now Glenn Hall, his old club, winning their first two matches. And Bailey with the juggle and then he's run into Joel Moon, the opposite number and Moon, one of the former Broncos making the tackle. Here's Lyon going back, Orford goes inside for Kite, and Kite going up the middle. His conditions today, they wouldn't be suiting the men from New Zealand. As it goes to Orford, he puts a kick, rubbing point on point, and it goes behind Kemp. He puts a shadow over it, will take a break and come back. It's 10-0 in favour of the Manly Sea Eagles. So... As we welcome you back, the 20-metre tap restart for New Zealand. It's been pretty much one-way traffic here so far. Possession, Manly's way, 67% going with Manly. And the Warriors have spent 58% of time in their own half. They've had four uses, the Warriors, for three completions. Manly, on the other hand, 10 uses for nine completions. Here's Rapira. The hardest thing to do on a hot day like this is to keep tackling two back-to-back -back sets. It really takes it out of you. And you can see here as the Warriors with the ball, that set of six, they virtually offered nothing. They're just trying to get their breath back. Nathan Feed getting a kick down that finds the line. He was hoping, well, he was betting each way, I suppose. The ball was bouncing favourably for a charging Vatuve. There's a little each-way bet, something for the winger, but he knew the ball had to get out of play too. These forwards need a little bit of a spell. They're walking to the scrum, just sucking in the big ones. I know I've only been going 15 and a bit minutes, but in heat like this, it really does sap you when you've got to do a lot of that defence. Game can turn quickly, can't it? The Warriors, they were over the line. The referee didn't rule a forward pass, so if it had been allowed, he wasn't going back to, to rule against that. It was just a try save from Ballon, and not long after that, Manly got on the roll. Yeah. It, can be a, it can be a cruel... Thing at times. Sport in general, I suppose, it's fair to apply that thought to ask Greg Norman, he'd agree with you. Here's Stewart playing the ball, now Josh Perry up the middle. High shot there from Jerome Rapati, pulled off the shoulder by the referee. Matt Ballon continues to 
have a nice career. Grand final try. Made that tackle on McKinnon. But it's been a great effort by him because he came into the shoes of Michael Monaghan last year and we didn't think Monaghan would be replaceable, to be honest. Well, I shouldn't say we, I didn't think. And here's uh, Kemp and McKinnon again involved in, as Peter rightly put it, no communication. Eventually they got it right and the penalty goes to Warriors inside 10 in front of the kicker. Peter, does Wayne McKinnon look bigger to you this year? I'm just looking at it. If he hasn't put on four or five kilos, I'll give up. Definitely up the body. Only played five matches last year, came back in and was rushed straight back into the side when he was available, but I, I think he is right. I think so many players just look to put on a couple more kilos. As Packer takes it forward, probably get a rest pretty shortly, I'd imagine, Russell. So a picture of one of the commentators facing Nathan Bracken. He looks like he's put on more than four or five kilos in the off-season as well. Here's Rapira. Oh, well done, Nathan Fien. You made a bad pass look good. I was wearing a chess game, right? you know yeah, That's what you're telling the world. Now, here is Joel Moon getting it back out to Rapati. Rapati running a half circle, tries to chop through. Hall and Ballon make the tackle. Henderson goes to Fien. Fien across and flat up the middle. Lillyman inside 20. Here's Brent Tate. One of the Queenslanders. Brent Tate scores for the Warriors. And a very nice try from the Warriors. If they can get some possession, they are a very, very dangerous football team. Played nice and straight on that occasion. Nathan Fien going across to Lilliman, put him straight into the hole inside Matt Eye. And then Lilliman drew the fullback and made it an easy passage for Brent Tate, who scores under the posts. Now, you kids who are outside backs, you watch Brent Tate position himself here to get this pass. We'll have a look at it from the high shot in a moment. But he really re runs in quickly to get in between himself and the defender, the ball player and the defender, to make sure he would get the pass. From the high shot, he's actually on the outside of the manly winger. The gap goes through, bang there. Now he'll run around and make sure he gets in between the winger and his own man to get the ball. That's great support play from a really good try scorer. He didn't get outside the manly winger to make the pass difficult. He raced in nice and tight and got himself in good position. So Denon Kemp will attempt conversion of what is an all Queensland try with Kemp the converter, Tate try scorer and Lilliman the final offload, Andrew Voss sideline. Yeah and you're right even further to that Rabs is that it's from all parts of Queensland. It started by Nathan Fien from Mount Isa on to Jacob Lilliman from uh, the town of Richmond, the cowboy and Brent Tate who did uh, most of his early years in uh, round about Redcliffe so it's half a dozen Queenslanders in this uh, Warriors lineup and uh, half of that half a dozen certainly combined well there. Did you show Nathan Fien into that as yes, well? Yes, he did. No, he did. He, he started off with Fien, so Andrew got four of them combining. I only remembered three of them. There's so much talk about Stacey Jones' involvement in this game, but that was just superb from Nathan Fien, who attracted two defenders and opened up the hole with just a lovely piece of ball play as the try scorer finds Sam Rapira, shapes the pass, but is put down on... I beg your pardons by Glenn Stewart. So Fien again, this time to Mannering. Voted the player of the year for the Warriors last year. He's played something like 70 consecutive matches for the Warriors. And he's a good player. And the Warriors getting a little bit of possession here now. And with that breeze again, a great touch finder. They're right down on the attack. Big chance to go back to back here. And just for a little bit of extra defence, you can see the Manly side starting to drag their feet a little bit. Look at that. Here's Monavay straight down the sideline and scores. Oh, the beast. Manu. The runaway truck. He has scored. Well, take a bow, Ivan Cleary. This is no fluke. This is a planned move. This is something they've worked on. Henderson straight to Steve Price, who sees that Michael Barney defending just off the, the sideline. And Steve Price, who doesn't throw a lot of passes before the line, throws a pearler, and they take advantage of a, well, a pretty poor defensive formation, one that certainly wasn't expecting the football to be directed that way. Yeah, that's a coaching try. That is something they have picked up on video from restarts at tap kicks. They've obviously rehearsed that at training and wonderfully executed. You could tell by how fast Vatu Vey was running when he got the ball that he knew it was coming back his way. It was no surprise to him and it was great for Stephen Price too because he loves to get away off that right foot 
He loves a little right foot step and he's got the ability to pass. They even threw a decoy play in there with Rapati so they could throw a face ball to make it a bird of it. Great work. Michael Barney's got the unenviable task of lining Vardave over there today. This kick is getting away. So oh, Denham oh, can fail to convert Manu's try. We'll take a break and come back in a moment at 10-10. You're just talking about Manu Vatave scoring that try. He's getting underneath this, and in fact, it's not him at all, but in fact, it's Jerome Rapati. I was just talking about before going to the break about Vatave and Barney. Barney's giving him 21 kilos. Which in the old terms, the old language is about what three stone. It'd make me run fast too, Ray, as well, these penalties have turned around now. So all of the play, all of the action, there's Ivan Cleary, who had a couple of years in the same team here at Manly as Des Hasler. And that man tackled Stephen Price was 21 debuting back in 94 when Des Hasler was 33 with four years of his career remaining. And here's the New Zealanders with Mannering to within 12 metres of the line. Now to repair it, now to Price. He puts the hip in, gets it away. And they're in again, the Warriors, with Jesse Royal, who's only just come on. It's ben it. Roberts, Ben Roberts did it last night. Where did Jesse come from? He came from sideline, Ray, got number 16 on his back. But he also came from Newcastle off-season. Jesse Royal was happy to go and work in the mines <laughs> after Newcastle decided not to retain his services. But there was an offer from the Warriors, and he said, why not? And his first touch, beautiful work from Stephen Price, who is now throwing two try assists in the space of as many minutes almost. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, you, you cannot believe the change in complexion in this game. Manly, with all the possession, were just running at will. Suddenly a few penalties to the Warriors. And I've got to say, the touch point, the kicking for touch from the, the penalties, has been superb. There have been three Warriors penalties, and I reckon he's made nearly 40 metres on each touch finder and put them on the attack each time and merely just haven't regrouped. Yeah, well, get off. Brilliant football. Joel Moon's the man Gus is talking about. And the kick from Denham Kemp is online, so after they were down 10-0, they're now in front 16-10. to 10. I think they gave us a hint they were going to be pretty hot today with the the try that mckinnon had in his he had it in his grasp and it was knocked out by ballon but then everything went against them all those penalties then that little knock on and manly got in the ascendancy but now new zealand have come back into it very much so then some and 16 to 10 the score and here's stephen price brought down inside his own 20 meter line as Rapati goes away and he's tackled inside the 30 meter line today's one community charity is the children's hospital foundations australia and they're encouraging kids to eat well play well and stay well and he's found enough on there to find out how to eat well play well and stay well visit rugbyleague.com.au and that young fellow that led the eagles out that was all part of the work of one community well, Jesse Royal's second touch here, not as good. He did throw the football back. The referee called play on. Then he must have got a call. Here's Royal offloading. Oh, yeah, there was the hand there from Henderson. And that's why we've seen the, the double knock on. But it is a, a Warriors feed. It was the second knock on. Kevin, just wait. Sorry, mate. Who's feed is it? Okay, sorry, mate. I thought you said they knocked it on, mate. So there's no need for me to tell you there's been just a little bit of misunderstanding between the referees, but they've sorted it out. Joel Moon goes along, out to McKinnon. And Wade is tackled on his own 40-metre line. Here's Tate trying to get rid of Stewart. He beats him, but he's put down over the top by King, who's on for the 
Manly Premiers. Andrew sideline. I just wonder the changing complexion of this match on the scoreboard, whether that has changed Ivan Cleary's strategy on how he's going to use Stacey Jones in his return match. At 10-0, if Manly got any further in front, he would probably be thinking, well, I've got to throw Stacey out there and see what he's got. But now that they're back in front, he might just leave him there for the whole first half. Here's Nathan Fien. There was a ricochet there. And Suniula went up and finished up with the ball for Manly. Now Matai. Well, that's a crazy ball from Let's Nathan Fien. Beautiful pass to set up a try, but it's actually come off the head of Jacob Lilliman, which made the intercept even easier. Played then by Suniula, and now Robertson comes in from the back. And the Warriors put him down about six metres into their own territory. Orford, a hand back for Clyde, and then it was down at the boots of Jason King. Cuthbertson's on in the Maroon Manly headgear. Fiend goes short for Mannery. Goes for the throttle and tries to get through, but it's closed by Jamie Lyon. Here's Rapati up to halfway now. Well, we've all been thinking the game is faster this year with the two referees. And I, I think it's going to really take its toll here in these hot conditions today. And here's Henderson losing it. And with it for the Eagles is Shane Rodney. Now for King. And he's driven down to the ground by Stephen Price with some help from Henderson, who created the problem for the Warriors. Now Glenn Stewart. 35 out from the Warriors line. Ballon. Oh, King! Well, the last time I called him in a knock-on, it wasn't his fault, but that was. Here's McKinnon hitting the line. I'm looking at Steve Price out there. He is on his haunches, absolutely exhausted. Very rare to see Steve Price stay down. Seen away for Tate. Tate, he turns to Niola around. He steers back to the centre. He's tackled, not held. Tries again. Second effort. Picks up it's Kemp. Kemp dodges under Watmo's tackle. Goes inside the 20 and has pulled down 15 out. Centre ground. Away now from Feen. It's with Joel Moon. And the Warriors launching again. Ramirez pass to ground. Now it's with Fien again. Back to the 20 metre line and Rodney is there to tackle him. Played by Nathan Fien, Jerome Rapati. And up to the 10 metre line. Third tackle gone for New Zealand. To the short side towards Vardavay's wing is with Mannering. Now Moon and across for Price. Price inside ball. Lilliman has got it. Lilliman tries to break through, but Cuthbertson makes the tackle. Again from Henderson. Now under Fiend. Wide out to Brent Tate. Holds the pass up. Denon Kemp puts in a kick. And the ball goes dead eventually. Well, excitement supreme from New Zealand. They're a good footy team. I love the fact that all their forwards not only can't pass the ball, but are encouraged to do so. And this ball movement now is really sapping the energy out of Manly. Look at some of their forwards. Hands on hips, hands on thighs as they bend over. They're in all sorts. Cuthbertson. Just inside the 30. Here's Matt Eye. Jesse! Here we are, Just inside the 40 metre line. Armour is on now for the for the Warriors. Move, Jesse. He came on for Sam Rapira. That's him making the tackle low. Played last week, only 15 minutes. He's another one of these products, big young forwards. Oh, Millie. Release now! An available offload there to a flying Matt Orford. So here's Cuthbertson getting his arm free. But what no unable to get alongside him. Orford finds the line. Ten metres out from the New Zealand line. We'll take a break and come back. It's a six-point ball game in favour of the Warriors. Take it in, Kevin. You want to keep strong? You want to keep strong? Long delay before this scrum oh, pack. Wait one second, you've got to get in. Second, stay in there. Finally, they get Seconds this scrum down. Oh. Ball in now, Nathan, 
And Nathan Fien it is that feeds the ball for the Warriors to take it away 15 from their own line. And Ray, no better demonstration of the difficult conditions out there before the break. Matt Orford, 25 metres out from the opposition line, was happy just to drill it over the sideline. Stacey Jones in jersey number 14. It's a rousing reception as he enters the fray. Nathan Fien was taken out by Jason King off the ball. I thought there might have been some touch judge intervention there. As uh, over the halfway line it goes with Jesse Royal. He's met by Cuthbertson. Front on. Gets some help from Perry. 16-10 in favour of the Warriors and Stacey Jones after three and a half years absence from the NRL is back. Robertson takes the high ball and he runs into a combined tackle of Jones. And this is your touchy coming in now, right? That, that he's done the right thing. He's waited till it's it's gone to ground with the opposition. This happened way back, about 35 what meters we'll back. Do, let's just get the report and we'll deal with it, okay? But come in, you need it. Earlier in the set, Nathan Fiend passed the ball. Jason King put a late shot on him. All right, can you mark the spot, please, mate? Right, mate, you can't take a player out later, right? Fair enough. Where's the spot? Well, it's way back inside the 30 metre point on the other end of the ground. There's the shot. There's the the hit by King. His fee and he unloads and then King puts a shoulder into him. And the way they've been with the protection of kickers, that might not be the right parallel here. It certainly was later than we've seen this far this season. So they go way back to the 30 for the for the penalty. Well, this is where the last couple of Warriors tries have started. A penalty in their own half of the field. A good touch finder. And then within a couple of tackles, look at this kick. He's not going to find touch. He's gone for too much. Good effort over there by Michael Barney. So, thanks very much for the penalty. Manly have got the ball now. 25 out from their own line. And now, Suniola it was at Dummy half who gave it on to Cuthbertson. 35 out from their line. Short side play for Anthony Watmo. And he plays the ball tackled by Jones. Lestrange is on from King. It's gone to Orford. Then over to Rodney. Picked up. Good tackle. Moon. Halfway line. Lestrange again. Then it goes out behind King. There's a race for the ball. Scooped up Cuthbertson. Watmo running. Turns it in. Suniula. A nice step off his left foot. Then he tries to dance between them. He's fleet-footed. 28 metres out from the line. Here's Orford with it for Manly. Over the 20-metre line. He fends away one. Glenn Stewart got the ball away for Michael Barney. It goes to ground and the referee's ordered knock on. Change over, mate. Change over. Ten. Forward out of your hands, mate. Change over here. Ten. Here's ten. Kevin. Here's ten. Here's to me. Yeah, on there, Steve. Here it is. This Jason is such a good game to watch. Two teams that the ref there, use the football very yeah, well. Yeah, that occasion yeah. it went astray. I think, yeah, what's the ref there? Oh, no, Steve. Yeah. They had two yours. attacking football teams. Matt Orford deciding to try and run it on the last. Move, the pressure on Glenn Stewart. That pass went forward. The ball went forward. And unfortunately, another penalty. And that's, that's now 6-4, I think, the penalty count. Six four in favour of the Warriors. It, it was slanted the other way quite dramatically. Four one, I think it was Manley's way, and the possession was very much Manley's way at sixty seven percent, and all that translated to the scoreboard. But, uh, now it's all swung back the other way. Here's Jones and getting it back for the seventeen. It's tied. He lost the ball. It came in contact with an opponent. That's knock on. First ball, Warriors, Manly ball. Good. So Manly will get the loose head and feed. Get in, get in and stay well, here. I don't think he enjoyed his first touch as stay much as Jesse Royal did. And there's a baptism of fire for the young man. He's on debut, isn't he, today? Ty? Yep. <laughs> He's a big thing, too. Look at him. Friday night football. We've got, for New South Wales Live, Tigers and Roosters. It's a housewarming, I'm told. The Tigers are using the SFS as their home ground for the first time. Stacey. They're housewarming, they're calling it. 
for Benji and the boys. And in Queensland, you'll see live the Titans and the Bulldogs. Jesse, release! So across halfway goes Jason King, and he runs at two of the small men, Jones and Fiend. And now from Lestrange for Orford, and Robertson goes up the middle. And Manley have got it up on the 30-metre line. Penalty, Manley! A second grab is the ruling. So Orford takes the tap, goes inside the 20-metre line, and Tate makes the tackle. Four minutes away from the break. Up the short side, Lestrange, and he's in a touch. So scrum all pack in that bottom corner. Well, with all due respect, they are two of the dumbest plays I think I've seen from a top-class side. Why Orford took the quick tap, I'll never know, because he got tackled where he would have kicked it out to for the first kick, and then Lestrange goes up a short blind side, puts a right foot step in to get closer to the sideline, and on tackle two, they just meekly surrender possession back to the Warriors. That was two up, really sorry. poor plays. I'll call it up for you. Head in. Hold here. Hold the Warriors to feed Hold. the scrum. Hold. Hold. And there's a big push from Manly. He's ruled that the scrum was spinning. Well, if the scrum was spinning, why didn't he penalise for screwing the scrum? Well, because because he probably doesn't know the rule. But if it's in there that long, whoever it comes out to should keep it. And it came out to Manly. He used to work on his grammar too. He said to the players, the book that the scrum span. 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 <laughs> it's spanned. OK, here's Denon Kemp with the ball now. 20 metres out from his line. Oh, another penalty to the Warriors. Inside the 10 is the ruling this time. Quick cheerio, which I don't do often, but to my father-in-law, who's in Westmead, celebrating his 75th birthday. I'm sorry about that, old fellow, but at least you've got plenty of nurses to your birthday party. Alan Workman, happy birthday. Ty is with the body, lost it! Looks as though no one wants the ball at the moment. Steve Price, just words of encouragement to the young man. Stay in there, Shane. Can I wish my little Hannah happy 10th birthday for tomorrow as well? She's not that little anymore. Nice and still, the whistle's not gone yet. Nice and still. Out. Yours. Here's Jamie Lyon. Bridge. Eight metres from halfway. Now it's out for Shane Rodney, who I, I, I might be wrong, but I don't think I've seen him without his headgear before. A bit like Jesse Royal, who's this? Now King. Big Jason. Playing it back for Lestrange. Now Orford. Perry working off the ball. Cuthbertson trying to get a ball back. And Jones is with it. Warriors then. With the little master playing the ball. Here's Denon Kent. No, no obstruction is the rule. Man, the crowd doesn't agree. And it's a hell of an obstruction when you're running behind this fellow, Ty. That's him with the ball now. Yeah, Brent Tate made Ty get in and take one up. He said, you've dropped the first two. He really pushed him into position there to have a run. Trying to get his confidence up before half time. Here's Jesse. Andrew. He's dead. Manley have had to do without Chris Bailey for most of this uh, second period of the first half. Dislocated finger, he will be back for the second. Thank you. Now Stephen Price, 20 metres away. Henderson finds Moon across the face to Rapati, and Rapati is tackled by Jamie Lyon. So the last tackle, and Fiend gets a point from Wade McKinnon. The kick goes out into the direction of Osuniula. Oh, that is a brilliant take. That is a wonderful take. That is Sunny Ella for Manly. Spectacular. I'm ready. Hold him. Under enormous pressure from Chasers. To boo last weekend. And under the blowtorch in front of his home crowd this afternoon, answering his first big test. What mo? Seven metres from halfway, the strange to dummy half, King at first receiver, a hit up by the front row. Well, this is their last play now in the first half. Orford 
Now Matai, it's one on one, he puts a kick in, Cuthbertson's after it, so is Ty. And the big fella in 17, he wanted to lay down and stay there, but somebody said, get up and have a run. And he loses the ball, and referee Shane Hayne says, that's enough. Let's go and get ourselves a drink. See if we can get a long half time out of this. I got you. I got you. So there's the time on signal for the second half of Sunday afternoon football. It's out on the full. Well, I don't know how they do it. We we're talking about this on the Sunday race this morning. It's a big target, the opposition half of the field. It's 68 metres wide, it's 60 metres long, and they miss it. If you stood there and said to him, how did you miss that? How did, how did you miss their half of the field? He couldn't tell you. That's yeah, a terrible way to start the second half. How do you think Kevin Moore felt last night when they missed it twice? They missed it twice. How do you miss it? Look at the size of it. I could build 18 townhouses on the end of the field, and they miss it. It's key. There's 18 fairways at Castle Hill Country Club, and I've missed them all on several occasions. It's not difficult. Here's Cuthbertson. So Manley presented with an early opportunity. Stewart runs to Rodney. And Shane Rodney is put away. They've built this pressure for themselves. And King gets it very, very close. In fact, it's Josh Perry. Now Lestrange. And here's Orford. An inside ball for Watmo. Cuthbert's in there and tries to back his way over the line. Six fellas change over. And that's right good there. defence from New Zealand. Well, defence, Jesse, defence Jesse, race, sorry, the they shouldn't oh, have had to have come right. up with. You said it exactly right. They were presented manly with the football. But on the back of it, they have shown great resolve, oh. which in this kind of game you'll need to because the opposition are good enough to take advantage on many occasions. This is Kumatai. Fiend at acting half. Oh, our Mao is on, as I said. He came on late in the first half, his mannering. An offload back for Jones. What Mo clings on to, to Stacey. Fiend getting it away for Price now. And Price tries to take it up the middle. He stepped over the top of Rodney. He was held by Stewart. The ball has gone away to Joel Moon. And Moon puts a big kick in. Down towards Robertson. Robertson comes away outside the 30. And travels up to the 40-metre line where he's met there by Jones. And also by Armour. Now for Barney. We've got one of the manly tries. Jamie Lyon the other that sent them away to a 10-0 lead. Now Cuthbertson, quick hands, Matai. Seven metres on the warrior side of halfway. Denon Kemp looks to be favouring his left wrist at the moment. This is King, 32 metres away from the Warriors line. Fourth tackle gone as Orford fires it. Now it came off Glenn Stewart. Oh, it was lying there for a kick from Rapati. The referee has ruled that it's a knock-on. He's called it back. I don't know who it was there, but someone just saved the day for Manly. The ball will come wide, it goes to ground, and it looks like the 17 Rodney, who actually gets his foot in the way of Rapati, who was steaming through. If Rapati gets his foot to the ball, there was no one at the back for Manly. He'd have had a solo chase for it, could have picked it up and scored a try. But Rodney just got in his way. Stand up, stand up, guys. Stand up. Family's got a Gosh, you mentioned Wade McKinnon building himself up. What about Jerome Rapati? Yeah. I've liked him for a long time, Tina. And I really think he's starting to come into his own. He's a size, too, and he's thick across the back. That's McKinnon playing the ball. This is Mannering, and a hard hit on Mannering. The ball comes free. The scrum will go down. It's a heavy shot. And it's the one thing about football in the early part of the season. I mean, you'll, during the year, you'll have wet days and cold days and windy days. But early in the season, it's all about the heat and the sweat on the ball. And I can tell you these balls are very, very hard to hang on to. 
with a bit of sweat. It's it's the thing that really makes him slippery. Doesn't take much to dislodge possession. Honoring feeling the, the sting of the tackle from Cuthbertson. Now they're 30 out, middle of the ground. Here he is again, Cuthbertson. Now it's on for Robertson, the full back, and he's tackled 12 metres out from the line. Barney shows it, gives it, runs around, looks for an opening. Cuthbertson was involved again. He's busy at him. Now the strange behind King, off at a show, then a decoy, then another decoy, they're going to score. Suniola, Suniola having a tremendous start to his career, scores for Manley. Well, it's very similar to the early part of this game with some ball movement wide, some select passing. I think you'll find that Jamie Lyon here sums it up beautifully. Orford finds Lyon, throws the cutout, sees that the winger on the far side, Dennett Kemp, has come in. It doesn't matter whether Jamie Lyon's playing in the centres or at 5'8", he's got good vision and knows what to do with the football in hand. And that was, that was a great ball, and exactly the one that was desired. Beautifully executed, Peter. Can you hear me? Yep. Beautifully executed. You can see that unfolding, and, and every player played his part. No one held onto the ball for even a split second too long. Everyone gave the man outside of them a chance to do something with the ball. Orford didn't go too far. Got it in the hands of Lyon. The decoy runner did his job and picked up the unmarked wigger, and that's a lovely play by Manley. The bloke that dug the foundations for the try, in my opinion, was Cuthbertson. He, he was highly involved, wasn't he? Yeah, and in the old days, right, he would have been penalised for stripping the football. You're right. But play on, we're all happy. Yeah, you're right. The tackle you're talking about on Mannering. We rattled Mannering up, but there was probably a steal in there. And that's a shocking kick from Matt Orford. I think he feels more embarrassed. He's feeling a bit of pain. I think he must have taken a pretty big divot. We'll take a break at 16 to 14. The Warriors over the Sea Eagles. Warriors kicking off. He chose, and I use the word um, meaning exactly that. They chose to play the game in their own half. And that was what happened to Matt Orford. Now that looked like one of your golf shots, Robert. Exactly. Now you know why I can't hit the fair one. Repair your divot. He took a chunk of turf out of the ground, didn't he? Here's good football. Quick hands. Watmo back delivers for Robertson. And Robertson feels the shoulder of the 17 for the Warriors. Ty Kumatai. His Stewart turning it back for Watmo. He's through. Watmo looking around for support. He's through another line. Down and up again. Now he finds Michael Barney. He beats one. Gets it back. It's with Shane Rodney. Rodney held by Joel Moon. Brilliant football premiers. Barney, Stewart. Now it's out to Walford. Kemp has come off his wing. Now the floating pass. Out to Madai. Did he knock on? Call is no. Steps left foot, left foot. And has tackled nine away. Penalty Manley. He played the advantage there. Referee Lyon. The Warriors had raced up out of the line to stop the movement. They're all offside. And he brings it back, and Manley with a set of six right in front of the post. They're two behind, but I think they'll go for the jugular here. The strange Orford, Stewart in, Rodney, Rodney taken to ground by Ty it was. The big number 17, Lestrange across the face of goal. Then it's on from Orford to Cuthbertson, did he get it down? They're going to inspect it. If it's a try, it's been a brilliant 10 minutes for Adam Cuthbertson. Well, it just continues the roll. It started with the restart going over the sideline. It's been all manly since then. Well, Adam has got a smile on his face. Well, let's have another look. That's a try. There's no separation that no I separation. can see. The only reason it wouldn't be a try is if the ball leaves his grasp and he doesn't get back to it before hitting the ground. But I think he's maintained contact with the football. 
all the way through that. It's a pretty poor looking put down, but I think in today's game, it is good enough. Well, it's funny because I think the video referee here today, I, I thought I saw Bill Harrigan earlier on. Is he the, no, Chris Ward's the video referee. But Bill Harrigan earlier in the year explained to the media that as long as there is downward pressure of ball, hand, and ground meet at the same time, they will award the try, which is what they've done here. He lost control of it, but they say control doesn't come into it. It's just downward pressure at the time, hand, ball, and ground meet. And you'll see here as it slips from his grasp, there's no doubt it does. Lovely ball from Orford. Good surge by this big fella. He gets his hand out. And at the time that ball, hand, and ground meet, there's contact with all three. That's enough for the referee. Now for the conversion for Matt Orford. It's 22 metres in from touch, so it's relatively simple for him, and he makes it look that way. Try converted. It was a tremendous compartment of the game for this big fella. Andrew Voss, I'd like. Well, Ray, we're going to learn a bit about the Warriors right here, the Warriors of 2009. I mean, some Warriors models of previous seasons would drop their bundle at this point, such a poor start to the second half. But they showed us in the first 40 minutes they could bounce right back. It was 10-0 after 12 minutes. They fought back to lead 16-10. Now they've conceded 10 points in the first 10 minutes of the second half. They have to repeat what they did in the first 40. Robertson fielding the kickoff, and Jason King is sent back as the messenger. Move, Jesse! Jesse, hold you, hold! Yes, basically what we have now is total understanding that this word control. I don't think control was ever there in the rule book, to be honest with you. Don't touch him, don't touch him. There's a problem here for one of the Warriors. Don't touch him, guys, just tackle two. I think it's Jesse Royal. Yeah, and the referee Shane Hain yelled out to all players, don't touch him. Is it Royal or Rapira? Might be Rapira by the look of it. Yeah, it's Rapira, you're right. The number eight. Yeah, he gets his head down low. Those, those head-on tackles on big men where they get their head right down like that, that that's, that's bad technique. Really bad technique. I hate that. I really do. As I was telling you last weekend, with thanks to Toyota and Telstra Big Pond, Toyota NRL Dream Team, the, the real one, the Toyota NRL Dream Team, is the NRL's official fantasy competition, and you can pick your own squad of 25. And you've got a chance of winning over $70,000 worth of prizes. That includes a brand new, oh, what a feeling Toyota. Visit www.nrl.com and follow the links to sign up and play. The Toyota NRL Dream Team. Tackle two. Four point break. Tackle two. Ball played by Cuthbertson. Sam Rapira looks totally recovered. Anthony Watmo plays it just outside the 30 metre line, and this is Heath Lestrange. Okay. Come here. He just popped out that one. So he's going to put a scrum down. Just want to ask Andrew Voss a question. I mean, we can't feel it up here in the commentary box, but the wind up from up here looks as though it's pretty strong out there, and it would be favouring Manly. Which wasn't there, you know, the Warriors had the wind at their back in the first half when they mounted the comeback. Yeah, they did. It's been gusty all afternoon. Gus, it's about picking your moment when you're going to get the most advantage. And you've probably noticed that from some of the kickoffs. If you kick at the time where that gust is strongest, you've actually got a lot of hang time. We almost had one kick regathered by Manly in the first half. So right at the moment, a little bit calmed. But in the next 30 seconds, you'll get that strong gust of breeze. Played then by Kumatai. And here is Steve Price taking it to Watmo and King. And always is able to stand and give his support a chance to get there. Now Rapira has rattled up and the ball came free and he's ruled knock on. It was a hit from Watmo. Anthony Watmo. Now, we just saw Sam Rapira with his technique on head-on tackling. Watch this fella. Anthony Watmo just absolutely rattled his cage. Comes back on the inside and bang. See how he stood up, hit shoulder and chest. Come right on. on the ball on the target and rattled it free. Compare that to Rapira's tackle earlier, where he had his back bent, his head was down amongst the knees. You can only get yourself injured like that. That is great technique from Watmo. Bang! Didn't he rattle him? Brute big hit. So 
Manley off their own 20 meter line and no room there for Bailey. Played in center field for Orford to torpedo the pass across to Jamie Lyon and he goes down the ground to the 40 meter line before they round him up. The penalty goes to Manley. Now yeah, that'll go against Joel Moon for putting his hand on the football to slow the football down. You said before what you've got away with in the past, you won't in the future. Jason King now and Manly, they have got wind in the sails. Jamie Lyon emphasising, to me anyway, that the centres is the place that he relishes. 30 away, Lestrange showed it to King, went behind Stewart, gave to Bailey, then the ball to Robertson. And Michael will play the ball just outside the 20 metre line, down the New Zealand end. They've put themselves down there again after some very good defence by Manley. Here's Cuthbertson, he's been a bit of a wrecker. Got a one-handed shove out the back for Orphan. He scurries across the ground, he sprints now when he sees a little opening. But he's put down and tackled eventually by Simon Mannering. Well done, Will Strange off the ground to the boot of Lyon. Across it goes, into that southern corner, up they go! Batted down by Sunioli. And it's gone over the dead wall once. Wait there, Nathan, Nathan, wait there. Wait, I'm, I'm good, wait. I'm good. Wait till I blow, wait till I blow the whistle. Yeah, but wait for the whistle. Bloody, Kevin, I'm good. So from the 20 metre line. We need to try this and is Sam One hole. Getting it out to the 30 metre line. And now for Tate, it's gone across to Kemp, and Kemp is taken by Orford, and Orford showed him the sideline. Kemp said, I'll take it. And Orford said, well, now you can taste it. Absolutely. Absolutely. The Warriors starved the possession so far. And that wasn't the smartest to play to try and get on the outside there in your own half so close to the sideline. Matty Orford lined him up beautifully. And again, with great technique, legs driving. Eyes on the target. It's a dislocated finger there for Sunayula. What they call him, Sunayuli. Close enough. Sunayula. He's dislocated a finger down there when he tried to bat the ball dead or get his hand on it. Here, here. That, that's the end of it there. And one of the big improvements for Manly at the end of last season was the fact that Jamie Lyon took more responsibility in the kicking game. He took a lot of pressure off the shoulders of Matt Orford. And that was a beautiful place to have kick which got the restart as Chris Bailey straightens. Henderson, the chief tackler, Cuthbertson again. If McKinnon's put it on, he looks like he might have trimmed up a bit, Cuthbertson, and he's playing like it too. There's Jamie Lyon, 11 away from the line. Orford, now Robertson, what Mo out the back. Chase for the crumbs. They dive in and they all come up with nothing. Originally, Lilliman plays it. Now, Denham Kemp. And a struggling run out to the 30 metre line. McKinnon this time. Tackles 35 away from his own line. Playing the ball for Nathan Feed. Gave it to Ian Henderson. Henderson rattled up by Jason King. Andrew Voss oh, sideline. Well, Manly getting uh, used right at the moment to life without Beaver Menzies when they used to have an injury to an outside oh, back. Jason. Steve could fill in at, at, at uh, centre. Oh. Right at the moment, it's Anthony Watmo who's had to be shifted out to left centre and, and Matai forced onto the wing with Sumiola oh, off the field with that dislocated finger. Here's Rapiro again. Then from feed for Stacey Jones. And the kick is very high oh, down towards Michael Robertson. And he takes it safely. Oh, it and Joel Moon Stay waits up. for him to catch it oh, before oh, tackling him. Well, he had Plenty of help to take that one safely. That was really poor chase on that kick. But it's such an easy one that it should have been for the fullback Robertson. Real lack of intensity in it. And Robertson didn't didn't hear the footsteps coming because they weren't there. High right, tackle get, now. Get there, come up, mate. Get them down. And mainly again easily out of their own end. Now these penalties and turnovers that the Warriors are, are guilty of in the second half, that's that's going to get frustrating as the clock ticks away. They're now behind on the scoreboard. They need field position and possession. They just keep gifting it away. If Manly can come up and be the next scorer, they can take giant strides towards a victory here. 163 tackles in total for the Warriors. 128 for Manly. 
Scoreboard, 20 points to 16 in favour of Manly. Cuthbertson to play it. 40 metres out, centre ground. Lestrange, a show, a show, and then he goes back to Robertson. And Robertson is held by Jones and Tate and Lilliman. Just inside 30. Eastern side of the ground for Matt I. He shows it to Hall before giving it to Perry. Perry will play it 22 metres away from the line. Lestrange again. Awful. Showed it inside for Cuthbertson. Went behind Stewart. Gave it to Bailey. The pass goes eventually on the bounce to Barney. Throws it in on the foot. Jamie Lyon. Try. Try. Try for Jamie Lyon. Points to the spot to Shane Hayden. Lovely work by Michael Barney. Brilliant work, Jamie Lyon. He's causing all sorts of problems for this Warrior side. Michael Barney. Very quick, especially off the mark. Running the football. Pass goes astray from Bailey, but he finds Barney and he puts the foot down. Throws it back inside and good presence of mind there from Jamie Lyon and good control. Put the football on the boot. No sense of trying to pick it up. And it was perfectly weighted because it stayed in the field to play. And again, Manly tacked to the right-hand side of the field. And I'm sure they're targeting Big Manu, who made a really bad decision there. He came racing in when he didn't need to come in. And even though it was a bad pass, it allowed Barney that room down the outside to get him behind the defence. Wonderful skill from Jamie Lyons. Seen him do that so many times. Getting his foot to the ball and controlling it. And that's a big try in the concept of this game, in the context of this game. And now the test is even greater for this New Zealand Warriors team this year to see just what they can do now. It is very much a backs to the wall with a quarter of the game to go. Matt Orford, five in, 21 out. And it's hooking, so no goal. For the manly number seven 24 to 16 five tries he's had a great game jamie Lyon. i've always liked him in the centers i know he's he's made a good fist of five eight but this to me is his position out on the edges with plenty of room to move and doing the opportunistic things rather than the creating things allowing other players to create opportunities for him and he can really sniff out a try there's Michael Robertson offloading for Brent Kite, asking him to take it back to the opposition. He plays it on 20. Brent Kite. That's Glenn Stewart with the hair closely cropped. I mentioned the crowd earlier. It wasn't all that brilliant. I didn't want to build up into, into a handy crowd. On a day like this on the peninsula, you could understand why it might be down, but this is not a bad crowd given that you're playing against a team from New Zealand and you haven't got the chance of drawing a club from over the other side of Sydney or something it's a good crowd it's another vote of approval for Sunday football or daytime football I guess here's Robertson almost a halfway Lestrange to Orford right foot going down into the end goal Denon Kent he didn't want to say any prayer so he decided to snatch it and bring it back nine meters into the field of play they've both used eight interchanges of the available ten mckinnon he hasn't found space today normally games involving wade mckinnon you can rest assured he'll be in open space a few times in any game Jones and across to Vanave loses the ball backwards. No, he's ruled knock on. They're in all sorts of trouble, the Warriors. It has been all manly since the start of this second half. Looking to fan it from their own end, they were struggling to get it out. And Vanave swiveling to pass the football to keep it alive. I mentioned intensity earlier. There's plenty of that with this Manly team now. They can smell blood in the water, and they're moving in for the kill. I'm not saying that wasn't a knock-on, but I tell you what, there's been a few calls today on balls that have been dropped where there could have been an argument made for the ball not going forward. It's been the centre of debate many, many times. It's a knock-on if it goes towards the opposition dead ball line. 
Here's Lestrade for Cuthbertson, the big fella. Shoulders up, he got a short ball away. And it's Bailey who'll play the ball. Lestrade for Watmo and a lunge and he gets it out the back and uh, New Zealand won the race. Lost the ball though. And he's not, yes, not it's a knock on against Manly this time from Lestrange. He's, he's had a big impact, hasn't he? I mean, I know he's a fan, you're a fan of his Cuthbertson, but I, I've got to agree, since he's come onto the field, Manly look a different team. There's just always something happening around him. Takes a lot of pressure off the other players. He can offload, he can push his big frame through the line. He's come up with a try. And his surges have been really good. That of all. 12 meters out from his own line. He's going to have to pull off one of his blockbusters to pull this one out of the out of the mire. 17 to go. Time is not a massive problem at the moment, but they are eight behind. I've seen Steve Price down here cycling on the sideline for what seems like an age. He's, he's done a tour de France down there. I'm more concerned about Brent Tate clutching at his neck. Yeah, he was complaining of a, of a tackle around his, his neck. May have been Heath Lestrange involved. Stacey Jones finds the line. That was a, a shot of Brent Tate, who's in a bit of trouble. Trainers saying to the, to the sideline, I think he's OK. But they are down to 12 men at the moment. We're still 17 to go, but this is a huge set of six and a huge period for the Warriors. So Sam Rapira takes it to Brent Kite and Josh Perry. Now they're seven away. They come left side. Death in the attack. Jones for Mannering. Good tackle. Jamie Lyon underneath and Hall over the top. Nathan Fiend right side for Jones. A big dummy and Jones steps. Gets the ball away and it's no try. Well, don't worry. He wants to have a look, and I'll tell you for why. Well, it, it goes back to the interpretation of what we got earlier in the year. I don't think it's a try. I think he's lost the ball. But, but, but if he gets his hand on the ball, and, and there's simultaneous contact between ball, hand and ground... No, that's no try. He's got to get his hand on the football before the ball touches the ground. If it's simultaneous, it is ruled a knock-on. It is no try. All right. Well, you, what do you say? You've got to get his hand on the ball before it gets back. Before it touches the ground, it cannot be simultaneous. He's got to get his hand before it. That is no try. It's a knock-on. That's my understanding of the interpretation. That if there's separation, it cannot be simultaneous. The touch. Wow. Well, 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 well. This will test the rule forever because there is evidence to suggest that maybe his fingers. Get the ball there. I can't give it. I yeah, wouldn't give I'm, it. I'm against it. I still think that it's at best simultaneous. Yeah, I wouldn't give it. And that'd be a knock on. But Stacey Jones nearly getting his side back into it with a bit of a scurry. They forced him to run there. They got up quickly on his outside. I thought the ball found the ground before he found the ball. And it's no try. No try for Nathan Fien. But there was just a hint that Stacey... He's not just going to stand, catch, Teddy. pass and kick. Teddy. Swap. Just when you don't expect it, the little boat's going to go. I've got to say, I'm glad it's a no try because for me, it would have been an erroneous interpretation of the rule. And they, they were at length at the media preview earlier in the year to describe these types of things. To me, it's a knock on. And gladly it's been ruled that way. So here's Brent Kite with the ball. Let's call it a close call for Manly and an unfortunate one for the Warriors. As Cuthbertson takes it to 25 out from his own line. Lestrange for Perry. And Perry is put down on the 30 metre line. Brent Tate making that tackle. Brent Tate making that tackle as well on, on Matai. Inside the 40 metre line, Orford. Across to Stewart and Stewart on to Hall. He ran over the top of Joel Moon. Left the brand of his boots on his forehead. Now it's with Orford. He puts it down towards McKinnon. McKinnon has got Denon Kent back there with him. And the number one 
McKinnon comes out. He runs into a jolting confrontation from Bailey. And as Joel Moon receives some attention, that was a really good set of six from Manley, but they've undone the good work by giving away a penalty. Anthony Watmay not impressed. They worked it out well. The kick was excellent from Matt Orford finding space. It's been the case all afternoon. Penalties galore. Both teams really finding it much easier to get out of their own end than they, than they should. 18 penalties in the game. Errors 13-11. The Warriors making two more in that department. Tackle count still significantly higher for the Warriors. 195 plays 150. And that looks like Packer is back on. Here's Henderson at first receiver before Rapira gained a couple of metres. They're not gone yet, the Warriors. And here is Fiend to Brent Tate. And he's tackled in the middle of the ground, 30 metres away from the Manly line. Now for Jones. Jones on to Rapati. And he will play the ball on five. 25 away from the line. Moon for Jones, a step and a dummy and a give and mannering. Support play, the kick high from Fiend. It's gone backwards with the aid of the breeze. He's marked it himself. Now he runs, then he puts the kick down. Nearly took a trainer with him. Back there is Barney, back there is Robertson. Oh, gee, they nearly let Vatavai climb under the radar. We'll break and come back. Not yet. Right. Hey, wait. I'm right. Wait. I'm good. So the 20 meter tap as you come back and thank you for joining us this Sunday afternoon on Nines Football wherever you're watching played by Hall the strange and no looker over then to Glenn Stewart 24 to 16 and that's how close it got and here is Jason King held down by Mannering and Henderson as Orford goes short for Cuthbertson. He's been their best in the second half. If, if you're talking forwards, he's been the best by a long way. Jamie Lyon has left a print on the game. McKinnon takes the ball, beats Orford, and Lyon down the ground makes a copybook tackle. Raper-like. Now for Kemp. Nine out from his line. White, white. He might have taken a an innocent knee there, I fancy. Vatavay. Inside 20. As Henderson comes away. He links up with Rapati, who's there with Barney and Lyon, and they close it down. Andrew Sideline. And Ray Manley into this last 12 minutes of the match. Two of their players off to hospital. Pretty nasty injuries. These Shane Rodney with bleeding in the eye. And Andrew Suniola, we thought it was a dislocated finger. In fact, it was a badly lacerated, the webbing on his hand between uh, two of the fingers. So he's also off to hospital. Jones, a kick, and looking for regather. Does that. He's got support with him. McKinnon's there. He turns Matt around. The little bloke's away. Brent Tate comes along. He takes the prize. But Stacey Jones, Stacey Jones is back. Three and a half years down the track. At NRL level, brilliant, brilliant stuff. But he just says, not just along for the ride. Ain't that the truth? A little kick, 40 out from his own line. Got the perfect bounce. Summed up the situation. Threw the dummy to Wade McKinnon. And Brent Tate loomed up. Brent Tate loomed up on the outside, on the right-hand side. And the Warriors, they may have been struggling for a little while now. They were looking for a spark of inspiration. Well, that man carrying the football and about to deliver the pass has just provided it. The Manly fullback Robertson, when Stacey Jones came through and he had McKinnon in support, I'm sure Robertson was thinking to himself, well, this old bloke won't throw a dummy. He's run far enough. He'll just want to get rid of it. And he took off before acceptances and Stacey Jones sucked him in, sold him the dummy, went back the other way. He would have scored himself for sure, but unselfishly handed it off to Brent Tate, who supported. And the little man, has picked the Warriors up and dragged them back into the contest. It's called one of the best tries you've ever seen in a grand final yeah. when they were beaten by the, the Roosters. You know, too. Seems like an eternity ago, and here he is still providing that little bit of magic. Then and Kent bring him too close up. 24-20 stays the score. 
Vossi side oh, how man. good was that? Oh, the try was excellent. The miss hurts, though, for the Warriors. Stacey Jones, I love them down the centre of the field. Wayne McKinnon is arguably the best support player in the game. Jones can't do what he's doing right now if McKinnon's not right there. They push up, they follow. Don't think that's either going to be the last kick of the match. They might try the short kick again. Stay on. Uh, gladdens me to be in a game of rugby league watching the return of this little warrior. Here's Packer, who's on the other end of the scale. Young and starting his career. Now, Nathan Feen. Well, Ivan Cleary, he might have some decisions to make here. He's got this combination of Henderson and Jones and Feen and Moon. And don't forget Hayek. Well, that's right. He's out injured after doing the knee last week. Might be three or four weeks there. So, an embarrassment of riches as Russell Packer. Stumbles 45 out from his own line. He'll be kicking from good position. Three of them are built like jockeys. Now it's Henderson to Mannering. It was okay. Henderson for Moon. Moon it's through. Joe Moon is on his way. Support comes. Vanderbe. Vanderbe gets it back to the middle of the ground for Mannering. And Simon Mannering is tackled. Let it go to the right. Run the football. Five gone. Here's Fiend. He kicks. Here comes the goal. Denon can be mid no, it's a turnover. I thought it might have been a penalty for a mid-air tackle. Well, the defenders can do that. When you're defending the kick, you can actually tackle the attacking player as he jumps to get it. You're quite right. Here's Robertson. There was a great opportunity to run the football there. Well, the kick, he should never have kicked, Peter. They had five or five or six on three there. It was a low percentage play. Here is Watmo. Here we are, Steve. Good. He's been debooted. As Jason King gets it to halfway. A four-point ball game, 24-20. And here is Kite. Now they get a roll on Manly. Orford, he goes to the air towards Vatave. The big fella takes it safely. And then Jamie Lyon leaps over the top of him. Here's McKinnon turning defence into attack. He's out to his own 30-metre line. How good is this? Oh, oh, knock on by Rapati! Oh, how bad was yes. that? <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Bad luck, son. Well, he does superbly, that of eight. Gets to the ground quickly, swivels. McKinnon only gets grabbed by Lestrange here. Otherwise, he was into open space. And just as Gus pointed out how good it was, it couldn't get anywhere. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Jacob Hull. So the scrum 30 metres away from the New Zealand line. Glenn Stewart standing out in the 5 8 position. Here's Michael Robertson playing it inside the 30 for Steve Mattai to go to Anthony Watmore. He's tackled 20 away, 20 in from the eastern side. The strange for King. King behind Cuthbertson. Orford is swatted there by Manoru. Played it. Oh, and he knocks on Lestrange. It's play on. It's been spread. It's gone to Rapati. No way he's going to pass. 18 away from his own line. Just happy to have an embrace of the football is Jerome Rapati at the moment. Manoru. So important for Manly here not to give away a penalty. The body language isn't great from the Warriors just at the moment, finding it tough to get out, but they get an easy carry down the end of the field. Play by Price. It's Fiend and then Moon and then a floating high pass out to Brent Tate, who looks for an opening, but Manly close all the gaps. Three tackles gone for New Zealand as Henderson runs it, and it's gone back there for Lilliman. He'll play it on five. In fact, we're into five now. Here's Price. He throws Cuthbertson away. Such strength. Got a ball round the corner. And the Auckland Warriors attack. It's come across now for Jones again. He kicks to down towards Vanderbay's wing. Robertson's got to get it back. I think he... Yeah, it's a line drop out. I thought he might have got it back onto a blade of grass in the field of play. Yeah, the ball touched the line. As soon as the ball touches the try line, it's deemed to be... Grounded in goal. Great tackle there by Brent Kite in the middle of the field. Saved 
a very dangerous situation. Beautiful pass by Price around the corner. And then the kick from Stacey Jones sits up. Robertson does his best, but the ball lands on the line. That means it's in goal and will result in a line dropout. Here come the Warriors. So the line dropout is not all that brilliant, although it's grubbed its way along to be called satisfactory, I suppose. 33 away for Lilliman to play the ball. Now the 15 packer thunders ahead. 25 metres out. Four points, the margin in favour of Manly. From Fiend, it's gone through from Henderson to Price to Jones and to Rapati. Inside ball, Vadeve, the big fella, launching the 112 kilos at them. But Ballon makes the tackle together with Cuthbertson and Lestrange. It's gone on to Stephen Price, the run around for Nathan Fien, the little kick in. It's taken by Bailey and he puts out the flames for the moment. Well, that's another bad decision from Nathan Fien, unfortunately, kicking the football. Nobody in the outside knew about it. And it was only third tackle. What mo this time? 13 out from his line, but they've used three tackles. Then it's swept away by Lestrange to Kite. 25 out on the fourth tackle. So Lestrange away to Orford. Orford in for Cuthbertson, likewise for Robertson. And now they've reached the end of the count, just beyond their 30 metre line. To Orford, who puts a kick in. It'll bounce down to Vatave. He's got McKinnon with him. He loses the ball. Well, they've bumbled their way through a, about three seconds there, and Manly are down the ground. But McKinnon got away from one, two, three, steps inside four, stands in the fifth tackle, got the ball away to Nathan Fiend. He goes infield. He picks up Moon. Moon is tackled. Five metres his side of halfway. Lead back now for Henderson to give it to Sam Rapira, and Rapira is brought down. Five metres into Manly's territory. If you're watching it back in New Zealand, they're not done yet, but there's only two and three quarters to go as Price is upended and put down 35 away from the Manly line. Ball played back to Fiend. Now it's on to Henderson. He gives it on to Rapati. Rapati inside ball for Vatave. Well tackled by Glenn Stewart, the 13 for Manly. Ball played for Henderson on the 20 metre line. It's gone to Fiend. Fiend got the ball away to Packer. Packer's tackle, he'll play the ball. Tackle by Brent Kleist. Stacey Jones comes into the play again. He puts a deft little kick over. Vatave goes up. They all go up. Rapati! Rapati, I think it's gone. Rapati has scored for the Auckland Warriors. Well, Stacey Jones, welcome back. Set up a try to get his team back into it. Came up with a perfect kick moments ago to keep the pressure on. And then he's come up with the right play last tackle here. Turned it into a lottery. That of a not worrying about catching the football. Ruled to have battered that back. And Jerome Rapati scores the try with Denon Kemp. An opportunity, as we saw Hazamil Masri do last night, to win the game with a conversion. That's brilliant stuff, isn't it? What a stirring second half of football. Well, the whole game's been good. Manly got out to lead by 10. Then it was all the Warriors to lead 16-10 at the break. Manly seemingly with the game in control, leading 24-16. And the Warriors, even though they're out on their feet and the hot conditions don't suit them, have come surging back. It hasn't been copybook football, there's been a lot of mistakes, but they have not given up. And now from out wide, Denon Kemp with the opportunity to break the tie and there'll be less than 30 seconds left on the clock when he kicks the ball. Well, he's got a, a soccer background. He's not a noted kicker, but he kicked five from five last week and he strikes them pretty nicely, Ray. In fact, he, he hadn't kicked at the NRL level before last weekend. Denon Kemp, 22 out, five in, he's nailed it! It is straight between the posts! New Zealand Warriors, 26, Manly, 24, 18 seconds to go. What a game of football. Both halves pretty much the same. The kick off by Manly, a knock on by, by the New Zealand Warriors. It's gone to ground. It's
it's with Matai. He gets the ball away. It's to Jason King. It's to Matt Orford. It's with Glenn Stewart. It's to Jamie Lyon. Here's Michael Barney. He's in the touch. That should be it. There will be no more. But what a fitting end. What a fitting finale to a brilliant 80 minutes of rugby league football. New Zealand Warriors. Five tries, three goals. 26 have beaten the defending premiers. Five tries, two goals, 24. What a game. This crowd, just in excess of 16,000 people. Totally entertained by this tremendous game that might be taking an off-field battering, but it's answering in spades in the field of play.